Three young girls set up a lemonade stand hoping to raise enough cash to go to the water park. They didn't get a business license though, so the cops told them they're breaking the law and they have to go. Mark Kennedy has more from Midway, Georgia. Sounds threatening, huh? Three girls' dream of going to a water park was quickly put to an end after Midway police shut it down. Kind of crazy. But we couldn't sell lemonade, so. But it was fun, but we had to listen to the cops and shut it down. The girls had only been open for one day before Midway's police chief and an officer cruised by and saw the stand. Did they tell you why they were going to shut it down? Mm -hmm. Tell them, look, we understand you guys are young, but still, you're breaking the law, and we can't let you do it anymore. The law is the law, and we have to be consecutive, consistent with how we enforce the law. By city ordinance, the girls must have a business license, food, and vendor's permit in order to set up shop. The city says they want to see everyone safe and healthy, and there's no exceptions to that. We were not aware of how the lemonade was made, who made the lemonade, or what the lemonade was made with. So we did act accordingly by city ordinance. It's almost like they're just, I don't know, they don't have anything better to do. <laughs> what started out as three girls' dream of a fun summer business is now just a piece of plywood. Now the permits and licenses would cost the girls $50 a day plus an extra $180 a year. They're now doing extra chores and yard work to make the money for that water park.